Welcome to Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. I'm Michelle Fitzgerald, aka Fitzy, and I'm an independent advisor for Creative Memory Scrapbooking, and I'm here to help you make your scrapbooks fabulous. So um, today I am up in frigid Maine. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, my weather apps that it was minus 14 and with a chill wind chill factor that's what it is uh it is minus 32. <laughs> oh i can't wait to go to florida <laughs> we are just having some fun and we're learning and we're presenting as well so it's um a very well well-rounded situation. So I hope my internet connection works out. It's saying it's a little unstable. So I'm going to try and do this kind of quick so we don't lose anything. All right. So I'm going to go to my makeshift workspace here <laughs> and see if we can get started. Um, so today I'm going to be using the Tropic Time Collection. And let me show you what I created with silver and gold. And we're going to do the same thing with Tropic Time. Isn't this pretty? I love this layout. It's quick and simple, super easy um, to create um, and to duplicate. So, so much so that I did a second one. <laughs> now, the cool thing about this is if you don't have the square punch, but you have the circle punch, it'll work the same way. And um, so, you know, both the circle and the square punch are about an inch and three quarters in size, okay? Um, but this is a really quick, fun, easy layout. Um, now we created this last weekend on our um, client retreat down on Cape Cod. We had such a great time and people loved this layout. So I'm gonna start with a base page. Now you can make this a two page spread simply by doubling the ingredients. And my suggestion would be, if you're going to make a two-page spread, I would leave these two columns alone. Like, don't put any squares going down the middle. And then you can extend your page either way, and it will look really pretty. All right. So the key is to use your square maker to punch out, I would say about 20 squares will do it. I think I punched out a few extras because I was going a little crazy with it. I want you to see how smooth and easy this punch is to use. Look at that. It just punches out so nicely. I love a smooth punch. <laughs> I barely put any effort into that. I love it. All right. So it's super simple to use, but to save time, I did pre-punch my squares just to get things started. Now I'm using my 13 inch mat and I'm using a base page from the Tropic Time Collection. This is the back side. I just want something very tonal and um, subtle. So that way my vibe and um, my vibrant prints will really show up nicely. So I want you to pick your signature print. I'm using, these are all from Traffic Time. These prints here, spread them out. So all I'm using are five prints. I know one's a little light, so on camera, it doesn't show up, but on the paper, it looks really pretty, all right? And out of your five or so prints, I want you to pick that statement piece. And to me, this looks like the statement piece. And I'm gonna start with my paper lined up on the 13 inch mat. And my first statement piece, I'm gonna start around the six inch line on the top. So all I'm gonna do is take my repositionable tape runner. You definitely want your repositionable for this one. And then I'm just gonna kind of line it up around the six inch mark. Now, the key to this layout is Quite simply, let some of your pieces hang over the edge. Don't get caught too caught up in trying to be perfect or making it look, you know, um, even. 
because I think it looks better when things are not even. So I'm gonna just going to spread it out a little bit here. Let's here. And you're just going to mix up your prints every so often. Um, and actually, some of these prints I'm using the front and the back side of. Look at how pretty this is. I just love this. I'm just going to spread it out a little more. And basically, by the time you get to the six inch mark on either space, you should be having your vibrant print right around that six inch mark. And if you have any pieces sticking up, just take your repo at the end of the layout and go ahead and tack them all down. So we've been having a lot of fun on this retreat. Um, wouldn't you say, Ari? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love being around other and learning new things. Up some more squares. I love this land. Definitely so a favorite of mine. Easy. Oh. All right. So you can see, I, and let me tell you, it took me all of maybe five minutes to punch out all these squares. So it's definitely... Now you can overlap them, you can space them out. It's really um, really up to you what you wanna do. Um, I had some people take a few of them and just kind of put like a few along the side like that. And then maybe they put a little bunch in the corner. So some people didn't go all the way around the page basically which I like that because now you have some room for variation and to just kind of make it your own. All right. This one, and I'm just kind of, you know, following along in a little pattern. Now you could do it with a few less patterns. You could do it with a couple more patterns. It's completely up to you because it is your page. So I'm wondering how all my YouTubers out there are doing in all this cold weather. And is everybody having cold weather? How are my people down in Florida and California doing? I bet they're not as cold as we are. Oh boy. All right. I'm going to do one. And right now I'm about three quarters of the way around. So I'm getting pretty close to done. This is just like a little makeshift area I threw together here very quickly. It's actually, um, what day is it? Saturday. It's Saturday morning here. I keep thinking it's Sunday. Um, which is driving me a little crazy, but I'm glad it's Saturday because that means we get another full day here. Great. Oh, and I ran out of tape runner, but don't worry. I have another one handy. It was ready. All right, and then that one, I'm gonna do this one. So see how quick and easy this is. All right, now I'm gonna put this here. And then I think I can fit more, well, we'll do it. Just And now see how there's a little bit of space here. So I'm just gonna play with this square a little bit. And now there isn't. All right. So now we have all our squares placed, but now we have to complete this layout. So we're going to go to our 12 inch trimmer. And we're going to turn this. Oops, I'm just getting all the extra repo off. 
we're going to turn this upside down. And now it's not going to fit perfectly on the trimmer. So don't get hung up on that. But if you can just get one side cut and trimmed, the rest of it will go very easy. And you don't want to put too much repo on the squares, especially where they're going to be hanging off the edge. And that way it won't get stuck on your trimmer either and come that up, which you don't want to do. I'm just going to do this here. Little edges. All right. So now that looks good to me. So now I'm going to put this edge up the top. And I'm just going to go around to each side and cut off anything that is hanging off the edge of the That one's still on, and we'll just keep rotating. How many of you out there can click an easy page? Add in the comments. Do you like quick and easy? I know I do. <laughs> That's how we get things done, right? By making them quick and easy. Ooh. All right, one more side to trim. And then we can make some mats and we're good to go. All right, so let's get this out of the way. here and voila isn't that cute it's like a little bit of patchwork now what i'm going to do because i see some are sticking up a little bit and that's okay but i'm just going to go down to anything that looks like it's sticking more um sticking up and i'm just going to tack any of those loose ends down it's pretty simple sometimes you just need an easy layout Nothing that's too complicated or that you have to think about too much, right? All right. So here is the basic layout. And now let's make a couple of mats. Maybe give this a title. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So I think this will really pop out on, on this. I'm going to make. So what are you all doing to stay warm if you're in one of these areas that's getting clobbered with super cold weather? I am actually wearing thermals. <laughs> I don't typically wear thermals indoors, but I woke up today and I was cold. So I said, I'm putting my thermals on. Are you wearing thermals, Ari? No thermals. <laughs> That's a great idea. I love that. <laughs> well, one of my friends on Facebook said, bring your thermals. I think it was Joanne Miner. She was like, bring your thermals. I'm like, okay. I'm I'm packing them. <laughs> All right. So now here are my mats and I'm going to tack them down. Oops. Oh, okay, Brenna. That's the one I ran out on. All right. So, and I'm just going to kind of place them a little askew and I'm going to leave some room at the bottom so we can do a little so we got photos like that well I can do this 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 I have custom tools. I would take. Oh, this one will work. Let me get my trimmer. I'm going to trim this down because I don't need all of this. Excuse me. All right, so let's cut this out. I'll put an inch on the top. Now, this is a four by six size mat. So if I just cut 
an inch off each end, it will now become a four by four square. How simple is that? All right, and I can place it like so here. I'm not covering up too much of the photo and I'm still letting the pattern shine through. So. All right. And then let me see if I have some stickers here. I try to remember to put everything in. Oh, but I don't think I have any. Oh, but I have embellishments. So let's see if we can use Yeah. Oh, I like it. a little palm tree. Oh, I think I can hear the wind. Is that wind, Ari? I think it's the heater. Oh, it feels like the wind. <laughs> oh, ooh, I just dropped a whole bunch of embellishments all over. Okay. Yeah. And I could do something like that. And that's kind of pretty. What I did on my other ones is I put a nice little sticker or layered embellishment in the middle of the top. And I did take a border strip. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to work well. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty. So you can just take a border strip sticker and go across the top or the bottom. I saw some people go across the bottom too, and that looks really pretty. Uh, just maybe this corner like so. All right. And this is all from the Tropic Time Collection. All right. And there you have it. A quick, easy, fun, beautiful page. So I hope you all liked that. Let me just back here again. So here was what I did in silver and gold. And here's the second one I did in silver and gold. And here's Tropic Time. All right. So that is it for today. Let me just go back up to me. Dee, dee, dee. Here we are. Hello. <laughs> all right. So I'm glad you all could join me this evening. Um, it's actually morning here, but by the time you see it, it'll be this evening. <laughs> And we're actually, it's Saturday morning too. So I'm a day early in them in the morning. So how do you like that? Um, but I hope you all enjoyed it. If you like this video and you're not already a subscriber, I please ask you to subscribe. And if the little bell icon is cooperating and you can find it, click on that bell icon and that will notify you every time I have a new video coming out. I do new videos every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, we have a Facebook group called FRQ Glitz Girl Scrapbooking Group. We do lots of fun things in there. We do some free classes and um, we have a lot of camaraderie and we just have a lot of fun in that group. So feel free to request to join. Just know you have to answer a few questions before you will be to join. And um, I think we do have a couple of people that are trying to join, but they haven't answered questions. So if you haven't been approved, that's why. So see if you can go back in and answer questions or message me and um, I'll see if I can help you out. Uh, you can always email me any questions or concerns at Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks at gmail.com. 
all of this information will be linked in the description of this video. And if you don't already have a fabulous advisor, I would love to be yours. So all you have to do is contact me in any way, shape or form. Click on my website, place an order, send me an email, let me know what you're trying to accomplish. My goal is to help everybody complete their albums and get their photos preserved safely. Um, so if there's anything I can do to help you with that, I would love to help you. All right. Um, if you think that this is something you could do, or maybe you just want a discount. Either way, um, I would love to have you on my team. We have a great time. And I would, I'm kind of of the theory, the more the merrier. <laughs> so if this is something that looks fun to you, or maybe you just want a little extra money on the side, um, please reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you. I'm happy to answer any questions. And it's all no obligation. So don't be scared. <laughs> I'm really easy to talk to, I think. Am I easy to talk to, Ari? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> So um, again, I hope everybody's staying warm and happy and hopefully we get through this cold snap up here and wherever else it may be um, affecting. Have a wonderful week, everybody. It's so nice to scrap with you every Sunday night. Um, I will see you all again next week. Thanks for watching and bye for now. I got to go back to advisor training. <laughs>